Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope all is well with you. These are extreme and uh, special times for all of us. And uh, the most important thing now is uh, to maintain your sanity, to uh, remain mentally fit. <laughs> and the best you can do is to distract yourself. And uh, that's exactly what I'm trying to do today. I'm here on a very nice uh, ancient field um, on a very nice sunny day and I hope my video helps you uh, to forget all the madness that uh, is going on at the moment. Yeah, let's see what I will find today. Keep your fingers crossed and I'll be back when I got my first find. As you can hear, strident signal 76, 73, uh, quite bottle capish, <laughs> but we will see. Shouldn't be too deep unless it's a, a big object. I had it for a moment. Yeah, as you can see, it uh, is some kind of tin metal maybe like um, pewter or I don't know um, I know these pieces um, <laughs> they are horrible they give uh, lovely signals but it's uh, absolute scrap yeah there's a slit in it uh, don't know maybe let me see uh, maybe some kind of harmonica reed but normally these are made out of brass yeah I don't know I found a very ancient looking ring here. Of course it is hard to say how old these rings uh, really are. Um, you can see that they are old. Um, it's of course uh, not modern. But um, whether it's like um, ancient Celtic Roman or um, early medieval, uh, high medieval, <laughs> it's uh, um, not really possible. Uh, I mean, the archaeologists and the expert uh, might have uh, the last word on it, but I find it very difficult to estimate the age of uh, objects like this. I found a beautiful coin from the late 18, early 1900s 
uh, it's five um, Fennig. The date should be um, readable. 1875, I think. Uh, you might see it better <laughs> because of the macro shot. Um, but I think that's uh, the date. Yeah. I love these coins. I said that many times before. Um, I think they are um, exciting finds, even though they are quite common. Um, I love the beautifully designed German Eagle. Um, it's breath, I think, um, or some copper alloy, but uh, um, I don't think it's 100% um, uh, copper because uh, copper would uh, turn into a very beautiful dark green patina. Uh, this one is more orange. I think that speaks for um, brass, but um, I'm not sure right now. I'm very happy guys because I found an old silver coin. It's um, in a horrible state, unfortunately. Uh, the rototiller uh, or the plow nicked it. Um, as you can see, it uh, almost uh, split it in half, but um, uh, it feels uh, quite stable. I have to be careful when I clean it though. Uh, I don't want to split it entirely. <laughs> Yeah, um, as I said, it might be an old uh, silver coin because it's wafer thin and it's not very uh, regularly shaped. Uh, that speaks uh, for some age, but we will see. Um, yeah, I enjoy being here on the field. It's a sunny, uh, nice day and uh, this find here gave me hope uh, that I might come up with some more nice finds. Uh, yeah, keep your fingers crossed. Wow, 86, 85, let's see what it is. it oh it could be a coin <laughs> I think it's a coin yeah I'm looking for the remains of a possible shank um, then it would be a button of course but uh, I'm not sure no uh, it seems to be a copper coin. <laughs> Great. Uh, wafer thin again. Yeah, but uh, I know these kinds of coins, um, most of the times uh, they are heller. Um, and then um, it's very difficult to um, 
reveal details on these coins most of the times they are just blank discs uh, but who knows um, maybe I can find some writing uh, and can tell you more about it Yeah guys, I made a, another nice find here. It is um, again a coin from the late 18, early 1900s. Uh, this time it is uh, one pfennig. And uh, you can see the difference um, in terms of patina compared to the one I found earlier, the five pfennig. This one is made of um, copper and therefore it has a very beautiful green patina and uh, you have to be very careful uh, when cleaning it because you can um, wipe it off um, quite easily uh, i mean the patina and uh, that's very sad because the green patina is uh, the trademark of uh, an old object of an old coin in this case here and uh, yeah therefore it would be very sad to remove it happy uh, yeah about this find uh, I enjoy being out here, um, it's a great sight and uh, I hope to find more great uh, things here today. See it already. That's a buckle. Beautiful little buckle. This is uh, medieval. Um, you can see that it is old. Um, it's primitively made. <laughs> um, yeah, lovely one. I would say high metal e medieval times, maybe. Um, yeah what it was used for is difficult to say must have been something very delicate uh, would would be very interesting to know what it was used for made an exciting find here as you can see it's old and um, I think this is um, uh, the protection tip of um, dagger or knife scabbard um, you know um, where the blade ends at, at the at the end <laughs> it's a protection uh, so that uh, the knife or the dagger doesn't um, penetrate uh, the scabbard um, I think that's what it is. Um, I've seen something like this before and I actually found something like this before. It was only a bit different in design. Um, yeah, I love this bit of field. It's a plateau here um, on a sloping field. Um, there might have been a house site or um, uh, maybe even um, a settlement place, I don't know close to a Roman villa 
uh, and um, yeah, generally it's a very old and interesting area. <laughs> I'm buzzing. I can't wait to continue detecting here. <laughs> what have we here? It's a plastic strawberry. I don't know, maybe it was a pin or something like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a modern piece of jewelry or whatever. But um, I don't know, I like it, it makes me smile. Yeah, that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video i very much enjoyed the day as you can imagine it's beautifully sunny and warm <laughs> i took my jacket with me this morning but i didn't think that i could walk around with my t-shirt it's still very warm yeah the finds are great uh, especially the scabbard piece uh, it could be very old roman or uh, medieval but indeed old and the silver coin is great uh, you saw it already in clean condition i have to wait until i'm home i'm very excited to give it a wash and see what it is i hope you will join me on my next trip out here or some other place by then i wish you all the best stay healthy take care of yourself bye bye au revoir and auf wiedersehen